Hey everyone, Speed Demon here, and welcome back to part 8 of our Let's Learn Civilization 6 Poland run. Today's episode, we're going to get started here with a few more additions to our kind of setup. Um, we are going to go with some stuff here that's going to play well into um, the Poland setup. Really, she plays off relics. So in this case, I'm not going to be worried about picking up artifacts. You know, that'd be nice, but this would do better for us really in the long, or in the long term. Wing Hustlers would take a long time to build. Could also make a focused emphasis on campus research grants because we are going to go directly towards, you know, ballistics. Could upgrade our archers and make them, uh, or not our archers, but our crossbowmen. Really make them just that little bit stronger. That will take nine turns. So we're going to go into that. Got to just keep working on that military. You know, it's going to play well off of our setup. Not too worried about pikemen or anti-cavalry units in general. You know, we're not in a bad position for that, so we're doing fine. So with Sun Tzu, going to have them chain up and then just sleep for now. The knight here, I'm going to have them remain fortified because as they're fortified, with a nice defensive tile here, they should be able to hold damage well for a little while. This unit here. I'm going to bring them down. I would keep an eye on this area. We could start doing some damage to this region. We're going to bring this unit up. Have this guy hang here for a moment and at least heal. Uh, I'm going to keep this apostle because the thing is I do want to get a very, very important wonder done, and that's Mont Saint Michel. That'll allow me to have the martyr ability, and then I can sacrifice this unit. Because then I will pick up a relic by doing so, and that'll be a better position. So I'm going to actually like use this guy here to do a little exploration of the area, get some information about what's around me, and kind of go from there. Uh, with that in mind, we are going to carry some more of these units out to the side. We're quite a ways off, getting even close to getting... Um, not only nationalism, but mobilization. So we cannot make an army. You know, as we recall, this was made by that specific great general, and that provided us with that bonus. Uh, we will bring this unit up to the side, just in case if we need to do a little bit more damage, you know, we can we can pop it right here and then plunk away at it a little bit. So that's an option. Yes, we could improve them to a bombard, but I would much rather these guys be a bombard. So. Right now, we have 20 Niter. Um, it's not bad, but we can make that better. Because once we destroy this city here, as, rec as we recall, this has Renaissance walls. The thing that's going to happen is that with these other cities here of, uh, of Mongolia's, uh, being able to destroy Renaissance walls instantly when he does not even have walls in many of these cities would just damn, damn near instantly destroy this. So it's a very strong position. That being said, we are going to look for a bit more of the Niter, so we shall look around to see who has access to it, and then see what we can pick up here. So as we know, they both have a little bit. Not a problem. Have them heal up a little bit. Just continue healing up while we get them set up, and then bring this guy over. Or instead, once this unit's healed up a bit more, I'll have them move, so that's okay. Um, leave them as is for now. You know, for the time being, it's better that we set that up. Uh, we'll hold on to the Niter we have, because we could actually upgrade that and make that better as we kind of get set up. And, you know, it's better that we don't overinvest in that. Now, this war here with Rome... It's impinging on us killing these barbs in the next 10 turns. If we can kill these barbs in the next 10 turns, we'll be A-OK -okay for our setup. Um, this guy, I'm actually going to continue bringing them to the east here. That way we can get some more information on what's on the south, and then also see if there are other con continental masses that we can explore. Um, so let's bring them out this direction. See, there's a small little island here. That very much indeed does help. Um, and I can make this city one as well, if you need to. Um, it's an option, actually. 
We did get the builder done, that is perfect. Getting these builders will help us a lot, it'll improve our overall tempo. Um, I would like us to get a harbor here. That would be a pretty strong investment for us. A holy site would also be very, very helpful. I mean, a holy site like right here, plus four holy site, that's pretty darn good. Um, a theater square right there could be very powerful. You know, us developing a government plaza also is a strong option. Uh, that's only a plus one just because of the two districts. Um, so there's not very much that I would be getting a bonus out of. Commercial hub, same thing. So, like, really our strongest options primarily are going to come from a couple of things. So we know housing is going to be critical in this city. It's going to be important that we continue growing. So this will be our main vector of growth. Um, what we're going to do here is also pick up the amenity. Just another amenity is always going to keep us in the positive there, keep us in a good position so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, we have three turns until the next era. I could use this guy and sacrifice him for that and then make that city one of the uh, one of our similar religious ones. Um, it's not going to convert, unfortunately. There's just kind of a heavy amount of conflicting pressure in some of these other areas, which is no problem. We do have a stronghold here, so we can provide a lot of you know, religious pressure as that were. Um, roll call got done with the holy site. That is perfect. What we're going to do is actually continue working on some more of the religious build setup. The reason for that is, as you can see here, six faith and six production. It's fantastic for this type of setup. It's giving us a nice boost of production, which will allow us to remain competitive in that city. And then what we're going to do afterwards is once we develop that, we will eventually, once we have the population means, eventually get a harbor. Once we have a harbor, our growth overall in this entire region will start to really pick up. It's turn 170, and by turn 200, I want us to have some more infrastructure in place. That way we can really remain competitive in the late game. In Gdansk, um, we have a couple options here. We could go into the university, but we're actually pretty strong in science. I would like us to continue working our faith output. Um, this would be good because then eventually getting that, having an initial spread would be powerful for our kind of setup that we're working towards. Um, this here wouldn't be bad just to pick up. You know, and getting another city here would be really, really strong. You know, with the reefs here, this would be you know extremely powerful. This would be a plus five campus. And then that would be at minimum like a plus three or four. So that would be a really strong kind of double, you know, double uh, district setup. The first one I would build would be the harbor because the harbor would set off much, much faster growth throughout the game and better tempo. Um, we could, 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 could. In this stage, because we have a normal era, what we could consider is if we do pull off um, a golden age, we do have a couple of options we can go for, but the first thing is that we need to get a city to donate a settler. Um, best city for that, it's amongst a couple different ones. You know, this city with Magnus is going to take a long time. You know, 42 turns is just way too slow. There's what cities do we have that we can sacrifice some tempo? We could also, you know, buy this market. And if we do that, that would guarantee, I think, if we haven't built one before, that would guarantee, uh, because of the unique building, that would guarantee a golden age. Let's actually do that, because we will be building Mont Saint-Michel in the next era. That'll give us a nice era score, and we'll take that momentum. And then working on the temple here, getting university done. So let's do that. Let's buy the second niche. That's four era score, guarantees us our golden age. So now we don't have to sacrifice this unit. We could take him around here and actually do some exploration of the area. That'll be really powerful for us. Because by the time we meet up with another religion, we'll actually make use of the situation and apply some pressure. Um, I would like us to first go for this. This is more of a threat to us. First, we'll heal that unit up. Heal that unit up. Bring this unit over, do some damage. That way we can dedicate towards killing this. The sooner we kill this, the better. Um, what we're going to first do is we're going to take this unit out here. Have this crossbowman heal up for a little while. Same thing with this scout. You know, bring the scout over. Just get him out of there because I know that because of this barb camp here, these will have units kind of, you know, just chasing down. And it's not worth getting it killed. 
absolutely at this stage of the game it's better to keep our units alive while we can because that'll give us a better setup as we approach the late game. Okay, so we're going to pick this up. Fishing boat will help us. Give us a little bit more tempo in the city. And then we are going to bring this guy up here. Do a little improvement. And then we're going to save an improvement here for one of these reef tiles. And then we'll kind of carry that from there. We do have a lot of really, really good options here at this stage for us to develop more. And we're actually going to have this unit heal up. Now this unit is done, we can actually... Continue exploration. We will kill this unit. This unit will remain on this position because we'll be able to continue fortifi fortification. And it's actually going to be really good for us because we're going to remain strong in this position and not have the major threat of this unit getting uh, this unit getting killed by the line infantrymen. There's another one nearby that's in this southern region. So we do want to kind of take our time and really just make sure we, we kind of set up the way we want. That being said, we do have a man-at-arms available, so we can do some damage. So battering ram, just going to have them go to sleep for now. Continue on eastbound. And then diplomatic service got completed, so we do have some options for our cards here. Uh, I would like us to get another governor title. Plus, it would also allow us to get all Wonders card, which will help us a lot. And then 30% production towards builders and new builders gain two extra build actions. For infrastructure, that'd be a very strong thing for us. You know, we need that. You know, every little bit helps in this case, so that'll be a pretty positive thing. We did get the armory done, so as we could take a look here, um, combat strength or combat experience for all units trained in the city is going to be increased. That's pretty good. And then the extra little bit of production will help us as well. So we got a nice bounty of production in this city. Let's go ahead and get the lighthouse here. Lighthouse, as we can see here, yeah, two housing in the city. We need, eh, we're not a major priority for housing, but we are going to get another trade route capacity that will help us. And then also getting uh, food and all of our coast tiles will make our capital much, much, much faster in our growth tempo. So that is excellent. This is exactly what we're looking for going to bring this unit either east here and back up this other unit here in case we need to fight more units because he could train more and then if he does train more we'll have this unit ready to do a little bit of damage uh, kumai got done with the barracks that's perfect now we can just produce extra units if we need to and that won't be bad at all um, let us go ahead and consider picking up you know either a settler or um, can get a trader. Okay, so we picked up our Golden Age, which is perfect. Going to continue on eastbound, seeing what else is in the area and see if there's a path that we can take from the south. If there's not, then it is what it is and we'll kind of make adjustments for there. We are going to pick up the Heartbeat of Steam. That is a pretty strong one for us. We have eight envoys available. Not concerned about picking up more of these guys. Um, really, at this stage of the game, it's not a problem. As we can see, we do have our threats coming inbound, so we will have to keep an eye on that. Um, Secret Society here for the Void Singers. Canticle, this allows us to basically cr um, to create uh, cultists. We have plenty of faith gen, so that makes sense for us. That's an option. There's a nice campus and a harbor position here. We'll likely put the city here. It'll be just a bit out of range there. One, two, three. And then where that bar camp is, we'll likely put in one more city. I'll we'll see if there are any more tiles for us to pick up. And, and just in the corner, corner here is another sieve. Going to do a lot of damage to this guy first because they're more of a threat to the health of the knight. I'm going to get this knight continue to heal. Skirmisher is going to do a little bit of damage, but that's fine. 
could actually just bring this unit out of danger and that way we are close enough to be able to do what we need to do. Uh, let's do some more damage here. Let's continue plunking away at it. Um, it's going to hurt a good bit, but at least we do have the means to kind of set up some damage here. Uh, we could upgrade a unit, but I almost would wa would rather wait until we get enough to upgrade both of these guys at once, because that would be super critical for us. That would give us some very good, very, very good combat strength. Instead of 55, it'd be at minimum 65, almost 70, and that would be pretty good. We shall eliminate that. And now we can heal up for a couple turns. So I'm not going to be able to destroy those walls yet. What we can do is do a little switch. And then since they cannot attack, I'll just have them back off for now. And let this unit heal up a couple turns. Get them to at least half health. And uh, by that point, in a couple turns, like two or three turns, I'll upgrade them, and then they'll be able to really just plunk away at this. This will this will speed up. This will definitely speed up within the next few turns, so we're okay there. Skirmisher don't really need. Are there amenities isn't going to hurt? We've met Venice. John. We met John Curtin. Curtains for you. Just kidding. Um, Venice is a good pickup. Trade routes to foreign cities. Provide gold for each luxury, luxury resource. Uh, we can actually consider you know, putting a few into that. That'll be a nice thing. Actually put one. Yeah, train a privateer. I'm not planning on making one, so not a problem. So we have two more sibs that we need to meet, and then we will have met all of them. So we can target that for this era. Good, so it does end. It does mean that we can continue our kind of push on the eastbound area. Um, using this unit to explore is good because it's giving us a little bit of pressure. No, that's not a bad thing. Um, and then what we'll eventually do is we will kind of finish up here. Once we take Rome before the end of the episode, we'll be in a very, very strong position. Utilize that as an opportunity to get a little bit more of a setup going. Natural disaster. Of course, of course it's directly after. Directly after I just fix this stuff. So I'll, I'll repair that and repair that. At least at least it's repairing and not just completely destroyed. So that's fine. It did give some of these tiles additional fertility. So I saw a bunch of them got food. Um, yeah, so a bit more food there. I think one more food there. War Cloud got done with the shrine. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and get this temple going. And we'll just kind of hold on to this area here to keep things set up. And then eventually, to the point that we upgrade a field cannon, we could do some proper damage to these guys here. It would actually be much, much better damage. We'll just have them heal up for one more turn. And let's bring that unit in. That unit in. And you just keep healing up for a little bit. You can go down the blood death. Heck of a name. One more turn. Am I really not in the range? I'm not. It's also the fact that we do have expert crews, so that's why we can attack after moving. Seems to be something I've noticed that we could do anyways in some cases, whether you have it or not, but it's a little weird. Um, then you will actually will have you continue working your way out of there. And go to that ocean tile. Okay, so there's nothing over here, but 
there is quite a bit of land here on the southern end. Okay, fair enough. Let's get on our knees. There's another aero score. We will upgrade into a field cannon. And now that unit will be able to, to apply some decent damage. Which will be good. Another strong unit means another unit that we can develop further for this impending war that we go against here. And really, it may not necessarily have to be a total game domination. It could be an entire regional domination. We finish off Rome. We go after... You know, go after the Mongolian Empire, and then we pretty much have everything we need. And then we will have completed our overall conquest that we want. I mean, because by that point, you know, we'll have about 18, 19 cities. And that's not bad. In general, that's very, very powerful. We do need, uh, let's see here, 340 gold. About to make you a deal. There you go. Good deal, good deal. Upgrade them into that. Now that will definitely be able to do some proper damage. And with this position here, we could actually pick up square rigging. I would like that just because we can go into industrialization. We can potentially get some coal going and that would be strong for us. We're going to head a little bit closer here. Keep on healing this unit here. Okay, a little bit. So 39 this turn. See if it goes up at all next turn. Um, we did get the university down. That's good. We're still maintaining decent tempo to the other AI. That's no problem. That will get better as we continue working up more cities and kind of getting that there. Not in a major uh, rush or anything like that. We're, we're in a good position overall, so we're okay. Strategy well, unfortunately, that dude died a very, very quick death. Wow. Didn't last more than just a moment. Just got immediately destroyed. No questions asked. Just gonna bring this male unit in. He's at risk, but I want to I want to keep you know that other siege unit alive if I can help it. We could upgrade this to get started on our cultists. Uh, that I think could be an option for us. It's a semi-okay, you know, use of our faith. We have 121 faith gem per turn, so I mean it's Really not bad. We have a lot of options here to pick up. We could get an ironclad going. We could actually boost our wonder production, which would be really nice for us. That would be powerful. Um, we could, could get a nice little boost to our science. We are going to be picking that up anyway, so we might as well just hold on to it. There's just no sense buying that with faith. Uh, we could actually expand that and get some more of that. We're going to be getting that anyways. I would say, you know, something that would be really strong for us would be eventually going for something like this. Four loyalty per turn. I mean, not really that big of a deal. But like this. Give us a nice bounty of error score. And then in Rome, we're going to bring you up. And that will be able to do a bit more damage. Good. So it's a good start. And they will be able to kind of plunk away at them. And this guy will be able to heal up in time. So we're okay there. We're going to bring this unit back up. So we are a few turns away to the point where we need to have uh, taken down the city. So by turn 180, we need to complete that conquest. And then we'll be on the marks for what our goal is. Uh, let's see. Pangala, you are located to the side here. Uh, we do not have a harbor, but the next thing we build will be a harbor. So we'll have to consider what a good location for harbor would be. 
harbor. Uh, since the campus is 10 turns out, a harbor right here could be good because that'll actually get boosted up a little bit. So we could do that. That should get the water mill going. That'll give us a little bit of food production. And then we will look for other means of growth. Could even pick that up. That would be a way for us to get a little bit of housing. That would help us grow faster. To put that card on. So let's consider where we want to build the Taj Mahal. We could actually continue working on Kila. That would be a very strong thing for us to do. So let's actually get that going. Next turn, we'll bring this unit over and put a use into that. That'll help get this completed much, much faster. Getting a couple wonders would be really strong here. We have two charges here. We could also dump charges into Taj Mahal, potentially. A position like this, we could go for public works, could go for colonization. I think we could probably consider going for liberalism. That'll give us a little bit of extra amenities that'll keep our cities happy, help our yields overall. You know, 150 uh, science per turn compared to 180, 165. It's not bad, you know, and we're going to continue getting better as we expand to more cities. Uh, we're actually going to hold on to this last use here because I would like us to kind of take a look and just see what makes sense for other wonders. You know, we're going to need to push for wonders, so the more wonders we build, the better. Keep bringing you east. And then what we could do is, in this position, uh, we do have a couple positions here that theater squares would be pretty strong. A theater square right here would be a plus three. That would be a good one. Um... If there was a circumstance where we could get could have gotten Machu Picchu, uh, that would have been pretty good. But of course, that I'm pretty sure that's been taken quite a long time ago. We could eventually build Mausoleum, and that would actually give us uh, another charge. Uh, adjacent to a harbor owned by the city. Do not have a harbor. A lot of these cities, actually. If I build Taj Mahal in this area, I'm going to have to get a builder to, to clear out some of this land. I'd rather do that first. And the final turn. We should be able to take the city. It's weak enough. Unfortunately, we will not be able to get that. Although, although that would be a super incredible incredibly powerful uh, great scientist for our setup because all of our holy sites would provide the same amount like if they provide plus six you know faith they provide not only press plus six uh hold on. if they provide plus six faith they also provide production at plus six and then in this case because of that great scientist they provide plus six science cannot get that unfortunately but it's beneficial Just going to get rid of that threat right off the bat. Not even taking a chance. Keep this area secured on the south. This dude's healing up nice. Do some damage here. 
Do a little bit more here. And Rome has been completely conquered. We have finally... We have finally completed our conquest. We made this a long-term goal of ours, and we have completed it. We now have eliminated Rome off the map. We will get a much, much greater grievance penalty soon. Which is fine. I'm not at all worried about that. We have some excellent places, though, for harbors. To get these cities up and running faster, we are going to get a harbor. Also going to consider some good locations here for campuses. Um, similarly, good locations for holy sites. Let's first focus on the harbor. That will be key. By the granary, keep our food going. And then what we're going to need to do is we will need to heal up our units, you know, get set up here, potentially go ahead and just clear this out so that way we can kind of keep things in control. The earlier we deal with this, the better. Uh, and then what we could do at that point is since we've been denounced by so many people, we're just going to level things off for a while. We do have a governor title. We are going to put that into, um, we can actually put that into connoisseur. We could use a bit more culture output. Could have put that in earlier, but no big deal. We did get our watermill done, so that's perfect. Uh, we are getting a little bit of extra production. We are going to plug that in. Move over to the east. Keep moving south. Because he's a, he's a uh, declared friend, we're not going to be uh, seeing war yet. Was killed during the neutralized government mission in the city of Gdansk. Aha! See? It's not the tower of sails. Not a bad uh, scientist to pick up. We'll bring that there. That's two natural wonder tiles right there. So that's a thousand science we're going to be picking up. That'll help boost us a good bit of the way towards some other stuff. And perfect. Labeled, packaged, and now we're down to two turns away from that. Perfect. It's a nice little chunk of science that we just got there. And we've got a promotion available for these guys, which is even better. We're actually going to bring them all the way over here. Don't need to worry about them for a little while. Going to have this unit park up here for a while. And then we're going to start shipping units to the west here. We are actually considering our pacing here. We have plenty of time until the next era. And we're already like on pace for a good, strong, normal age. So it's not bad. No, it's definitely not bad. Um, I'm actually going to leave this one as is for now. I'm not concerned about the effects at the moment. But everyone, I think this is a pretty good stopping point for this episode. I want to thank you for your time. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more daily content. We'll keep the videos coming. All right, you all have a good one. Speed D-Man out.